So, real talk, it's getting cold out, and I, I'm, I'm kind of bummed out. But, I, but I do love everything to do with fall. I love the leaves. I love how cozy it is. More than anything, I like Starbucks drinks. Yeah. So, I thought today we could do a really fun vidya where, uh, where we go to Starbucks together, and I order all the fall flavors of Starbucks drinks, taste test them, and tell you which one is the best for you. Okay, let's do it. All right, almost ran into a pole trying to get this shot, but <laughs> I'm gonna go for, I think, five drinks, five of their top drinks and taste test them. See how fall tasting they really are. How fall-esque can a drink be, you know? Okay, so that was a journey and a half. Uh, who knew that carrying six Starbucks drinks, a camera and a tripod was gonna be an issue? I sure didn't. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna describe it to you, and then I'm going to rate it. And we will see at the end which one is the most autumnal. What is going on with this? Okay, number one. Tried and true, the pumpkin spice latte. White girls all over the world are going nuts for this. They put on their Uggs, get that dark lip going. Let's try it out. Oh, oh gosh. Boy, does this take me back. I love it. It's like a little sweet for me. I got it regular standard how it comes, and I usually like it half sweet. Really nice and spicy. You get a little bit of cinnamon, some cloves, not really any pumpkin. I never have actually tasted pumpkin in this drink, but it's just like spicy and warm and cozy. You want it while you're like wearing one of those big like oatmeal colored knitted sweaters. This is golden. For me, this is a seven out of 10. This is a must get in the season and it screams autumn. So there you go. Okay, this next one I've never had before. This is a salted caramel hot chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. It's, this one's not wowing me. It's, it's, there's too much going on and, it, and it's a little bit fake tasting. Like the caramel doesn't taste real. I imagine like anyone under 15 loves this. Anyone who is complaining to their mom about trying to get their first tattoo or dyeing their hair is gonna love this. Oh God, good God. Ugh. Sorry, it's fine. Oh, uh, it's a four out of 10. Okay, this next one is a boo boo Why am I still wearing a scarf? I'm so hot. It's not actually that cold out, you know? Like the leaves are turning, but only just. Toronto, we don't get like, we don't get proper fall into like much later in the season, but where I grew up in Alberta, gosh, they've already, they're already under a foot of snow. That's more about Canadian geography than you wanted to know. Um, okay, so this one is do 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 cinnamon dolce latte. Another one I've never had before. It has a coffee component, a milk component, and then a cinnamon dolce component. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is like mm, 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 I don't know. Very sweet. I like it. It's so hard because I, I think pumpkin spice. Uh, it's the leader in the race at least. So it's hard to compare this to that because it's just never going to be quite as good. There's so much nostalgia in the pumpkin spice. This one's going to be about a seven. Did I give pumpkin spice a 10 out of 10? This should be a 10 out of 10. I, I rephrase, whatever I said, strike it from the record. Okay, on to the next one. You can see I'm very, I'm taking this very seriously. This is very, very important to me. Okay, so this one is a peppermint white mocha. I already know this is up my alley. I already know that. Oh God, I just, oh, I just love peppermint so much. This is very candy cane, Christmas, chocolatey, rich, kind of fudgy. This is delicious. This is a nine out of 10. Gosh, I love peppermint. And you know what? If you're not into peppermint, go f yourself. Cause this is amazing. Okay, this next one I used to love. This is one of those, what is it called? Caramel apple spice. So basically what they do is they steam apple juice. They add in caramel flavoring and then top it with whipped cream. So it's meant to have this like richness to it, but also kind of that like crisp bite of apple juice and then sweetness of caramel. I used to like kill for this. Like not literally, I don't have a record, but metaphorically, I would slit a man's throat for this. Yeah, yeah, that's doing good things. There's something about it that is so Christmas, fall, it sucks outside, let's just treat ourselves and get fat and watch Netflix. Like this, this screams like just let yourself go. All right, and now for the last one, drum roll please. This is the cardamom latte. I've never seen this before. What could be in it? Probably cardamom and coffee and milk. 
Huh. I wonder what's in this. Like, do they? Do you think they just sprinkle cardamom, or do they have like a cardamom sweetener? Because it's not very sweet, and I like that as just like a plain latte drinker. This is nice. It's got like a little air of sweetness. Oh, wait, did I rate the last one? Eight out of ten. This one's got like a little air of like spiciness. It's like warm and cozy, but it's not like sickeningly sweet. Gosh, that is good. That's a nine out of ten. Well, there you have uh, my autumnal drink taste testing. So what is your favorite drink? What do you like to drink at Starbucks in the autumn when the leaves are falling and you want to be cozy? Let me know. You can tweet at Tastemade or get in touch. You can follow me on any of my social media. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.